Hello guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will start the new course that is nothing but Android development with the Kotlin programming. So before we develop the native Android applications, so let's try to understand about the Kotlin programming. This one, so a comprehensive guide to Kotlin, Android development and also essential programming concepts. We will try to learn it. First of all, we need to know what is a Kotlin. Kotlin is an open source statically typed programming language that supports both object oriented and also functional programming. It runs on the Java virtual machine and has syntax similar to Java, C sharp and also the Scala. So the Kotlin programming language has been named after the Kotlin island in Russia's Gulf of Finland. This modern language was designed to be more concise and also expressive than the traditional programming language. So this is why we will be using. So why we are using this Kotlin? So this Kotlin is used for the native Android application development. So we also have the different uh, things like React Native and all those things, right? So this one for developing the React uh, native Android application, we will be using the Kotlin programming language. So basically the Kotlin programming language is a static uh, language. So what is the meaning of the static languages? Any variable when you are mentioning, so we need to mention the data type of that variable. Whereas JavaScript and all those things are dynamically languages, dynamic languages like PHP, Python, JavaScript, these all things. So static language requires declaring variable types upfront, string, int, double float like that. Types are known before the program runs, catching errors early. Examples are Kotlin, Java and also the C sharp. Dynamic languages are variable types are determined only when the program runs. No need to specify types when creating the variables. So examples comes is the Python, JavaScript, PHP, these things. So Kotlin journey. So when, how this Kotlin, when this Kotlin programming language has been invented and how this journey has been underground. So if you try to see it has been started, the project has been started as an open source initiative, completely free to use in 2010. Then later on in 2016, February, first official version 1.0 released to the public. Then afterwards in the 2017 Google I.O. announces Kotlin as the official Android development language. So that means if you want to develop a native Android application, so you need to have Kotlin knowledge. So why we need to choose the Kotlin language? So it has a extensive Google support, officially supported by the Google for Android development. Documentation and tools are being designed with keeping Kotlin in mind. Java interoperability. So 100% in trouble will be there with Java. So that means you can call Kotlin from Java and vice versa. And also there is a built-in converter in the Android Studio where if you have a Java code means automatically the Android Studio will convert the Java code into a Kotlin code. So efficiency, do more than more with fewer lines of code. So that is one thing, faster compilation and clearer, more understandable structure. So what can you build with you when you learn this Kotlin programming language? So if you learn this Kotlin programming language, what you can build it is web applications. So you can also build the web applications like server side development with frameworks like KTOR. So you'll be having a KTOR server side framework. Using that one, you can develop the server side development for building robust web services and also the APIs. And the next one is the desktop applications. Cross platform desktop apps using Kotlin or Java virtual machine with Java FX or other desktop frameworks. And the most popular use case is the Android applications. So we can develop the native Android apps with full access to the platform features and also the APIs. So let's try to understand about this Android ecosystem. So how it will be useful. So Android, you already know about this one. So it is the way behind the smartphones. Android started as an operating system for digital cameras, but evolved into much more. Actually, it was originally developed by Android INC. Google acquired the company in 2005 and released the Android OS in 2008. So now the Android operating system will be, uh, is being used in the smartphones primary platform with billions of users worldwide and also tablets touch optimized interface for larger screens, smart TVs, entertainment and streaming applications, wearables, Android Wear for fitness and notifications, Android Auto, smart multimedia system for vehicles. So in the, all these places we are using this Android. So Android by the numbers. So if you try to see 100 plus languages are supported and Android supports more than 100 languages worldwide and 5.22 billion mobile users, people using mobile phones globally, 66% 0.6% of the world populations are using the Android. So that means 2 billion plus users are using the Android users, people actively using the Android operating system. 
So the app development opportunity. As of May 2017, Google Play had more than 2.8 million apps published with over 6,000 new apps added every day. The demand for the skilled developers continues to grow exponentially. In the coming years, more than 20 million app developers will be needed globally. This presents an incredible opportunity for everyone, for anyone looking to enter the tech, tech industry. So you will be having a doubt in this one. What will be the salaries if you want, if you become an Android developer in the US? In the US, basically for the junior developer, they are giving around more than $55,000 per year. So if you want to, if you are a mid-level developer means it will be around $100,000 per year, dollars per year. And here it's senior developer means $130,000 per year it will be around. So this is the salaries expectations how it will be if you are, if you are an Android developer. So what you need to understand, so essential programming terms, you need to have a basic understanding. So you need to understand the fundamental concepts that apply across all programming languages. So core programming concepts, which you need to understand is the first one is the package. So package is nothing but an organized module of related interfaces and classes. Packages help organize classes that belong to the same category or provide similar functionality. And next one is the class, you know about the class thing. And also last one is an object. So object oriented programming and functions. So you need to have a basic understanding about the object oriented programming, a programming model focusing on the objects and data rather than actions and logic. You define both data types and functions that apply to them. Function, you know about this one, a block of code that you can call by name to execute the instructions inside it. And arguments are parameters, values passed into commands or functions. For example, square of four, the number four is an argument passed to the square function. So that's it guys about this one. So we have covered the fundamentals of the Kotlin explore the vast android eco ecosystem and also we have learned essential programming terminology you know understand why kotlin is the preferred kotlin is the preferred language for android development and incredible opportunities for this one so what we'll try to do it is we'll master the basics continue learning kotlin syntax and also the programming concepts then we'll set up our environment install the android studio and configure your development tools and we'll build our first app apply your knowledge to complete to create real android application so let's jump into the next lesson. So hope you understood about the basic understanding of this Kotlin. So Kotlin is nothing but what you can, I, what I can say it is, it is developed on the top of the Java programming language. So one is Java programming language is the Kotlin and one is the same only. But using the Kotlin, you, you will be developing less code and you will be learning more. So that is one thing which I want to explain it to you. So hope you understood about the concept of uh, Kotlin, why we are using this Kotlin programming language. So we will try to learn about the basics of this Kotlin programming language and then we will jump into the Android application. That's it guys about this. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.